Hi there, welcome back. It's time to install Mili in your Proxmox LXC container running Docker and you will become popular with the ladies in your family. Mili is a self-hosted recipe manager and a meal planning application. It stores and organizes recipes with images and instructions. Plan meals and generate shopping lists automatically and share recipes with family and friend through a clean web interface. As you can see, you can run Mealy in your phone, your tablet, your laptop and your PC. The instructions for this video can be found in our blog. Please have a look down below for the link. Mealy is an open source project in the Docker repository. If you look over here, you will find Mealy. Enough said, let's get our hands dirty. We have a Proxmox server. In there we have a Alexi container running Docker. We are going to deploy Mealy as a Docker application in here. We have already opened it in the terminal here. Now we need to make a folder inside the OPT folder. We have a stacks folder and inside there we want to create a folder called Mealy. This is the command you will run. And then you will open that folder. At this point in time, we are going to create our Docker Compose file using our favorite editor Nano. Please note the file name is compose.yaml. So this is the command we will run. At this point in time, we need to go to our instructions. And if you have a look over here, we have our Docker Compose file. You can click that to copy it. We have a rule in this channel. We never record untested applications. So in order to test that, we had to create the file. So when you run this command, it would be empty and then you would paste into there. However, we don't want to break our server, so we're not going to do that. And then you can say Control X and then be prompted to save it, yes. However, if you say Control S for Susan and then X, you don't get prompted. So that's the reason we use Control S, Control X. Then we will create a .env file. Run this command. Before we run this command, we need to go to our instructions. Underneath the Docker Compose file, you will find the .env file. And now you will run the command. And as you can see, we've already created the file. In your case, you will paste. As we said, we don't want to damage our server, so we are not going to do that. Now, there's something we do in our channel. We haven't seen it in many of the other channels. Before you do a Docker Compose up command or up dash D, we always do a Docker Compose pull command. This way, we get all the dependencies downloaded and everything is ready for the server to start. You will notice that it's going to come down quickly. And that is because we already have the image. In your case, it will download all the dependencies so that when you start it, it will go quicker. At this point in time, you will say docker compose up dash D. Again, it will run quicker because we have already downloaded the image. It says that it started, and you can see it started quickly. However, if I use another tool, the container may have started, but it takes time for the application to be ready. We've provided you with the credentials you will need to log in, the user and the password, as well as the URL. 
It's your server's IP address, port 9925. In our case, this is our server. Sometimes you will get a blank screen like this, and that is because it's still busy starting. And you can see that in this monitoring tool, it's showing that the server is starting. Let's try now. Select Remember Me. And now we have to use these credentials. And let's log in. Now we'll create our own account. Nico, no, admin. And now you will click Next. We had to change the user's name from admin to Nico because we had previously tested using admin. And just carry on, submit. And eventually we get to this screen. Okay. You now need to click on the hamburger menu and let's create, let's go to cookbooks. I'm going to search for apple strudel. Copy the URL. Click create. Import a recipe by URL. And I want to stay in edit mode. And there's the recipe. There's the instructions with all the steps. And I'm now able to change these. So if this thing was grams and liters, I could change it to ounces and pounds. Now let's go back to our instructions. Click on this link to read the documentation. As you can see, this is probably one of the finest recipe book applications that you can run in a Docker container. We trust you found this video interesting. Please, Give us a like and please subscribe to our channel. We need you to give us a comment. Did you like this video? What would you like to see next? Now we have something special in this channel. We greet you in six languages. Thank you, dude. Baia danke tot sins. Grazie mille a me, ciao. Yesu sinaderfe. Namaste, namaskar. Tomo arigato tomodachi sayonara.